Prabhakar, you can call me Prab. I have been running an institution named Adil Jilly since 2007. Furthermore, I am working with uh, Sarma Consulting Serbia since 2013. Moreover, I am working on a project named Intercultural Communications since 2015. Dear friends, today I am going to talk about a very important and interesting things. that is how to understand Chinese colleagues at work. Probably we are finding that most of us would like to work in different nations, we would like to just uh, work at a global level, as you know that this is a globalization era is going on. So here we'll find that uh, whenever we go to any other country, there we'll find that we have a problem to perceive the thing, to understand their culture, their ways, these all kind of problems are created. So today I'm especially talking about Chinese colleagues that uh, when you are just dealing with the Chinese colleagues and uh, their work, then one thing you need to understand about them. Because if you are preparing for going to China, then these all things I think you need to know. So, many foreigners at a time struggles work to work effectively and happily with the Chinese colleagues or clients. James McTavis here uh, along with Prabhakar Singh's share that is uh, how to work Chinese co-worker. I'm Indian but have a Chinese peoples in my touch and I have been working for about six years in and around uh, China's prospect including Hong Kong, Singhai, Beijing, Kikwanjua. There are a lot of areas where I have my uh, fellows, those who are working there. In today's topics that is uh, how to work with a Chinese colleague. Here I'm going to tell you that there is a, some few points you need to understand that is very important. The first thing is understand Chinese people's core values. It is very important to understand Chinese people's core values and when we talk about that then here I would like to say that uh, people behave in a certain ways based on their beliefs and uh, what they think is right and wrong. Chinese people are no difference in a recent training courses in Shanghai, the trainee suggested these five points to Chinese people main core values. The first point is family first, second is collectivism, third is respect the hierarchy, fourth is gunaxi, that is relationship, fifth is harmony, balance. As a result of these cultures, norms and core values, what is normal for, say, an uh, American maybe, while to Chinese persons and uh, vice versa? Let me give you a very simple example. During the hot summer, Chinese people like to drink hot waters, but Westerns always prefer a cool drink. If you want to work more effectively with your Chinese colleagues, you need to understand what's important to them and what drive them and the uh, second point what i want to talk in that that is uh, when chinese people say yes in english it does not mean yes like a foreign minute interesting no yeah when chinese people say the word yes in english it is like the chinese words sai what it is it's a sai which basically means I'm listening to what you are saying but don't entirely understand what you are saying so when explaining something to your Chinese colleagues or client be very careful when you hear the words yes yes if you want to be sure that uh, understand then ask them to summarize what you just answered to them third point here I would like to say that the Chinese people don't like saying no Instead, they use other methods such as the saying maybe or uh, changing the subjects entirely. My former Chinese colleagues in Hong Kong told me that Chinese people don't like to give a 100% yes or no answer to anything uh, in case it's wrong and uh, they, they may feel embarrassed or lose face. Therefore, through practice and experience, you should get feel for when your Chinese colleagues mean no without actually saying it. Four point what I want to uh, mention over here in my, this uh, dialogue that is 
Never ever criticize or lose your temper with your Chinese colleagues or staff in public. If you've been in China for five months, you will know that losing face is one of the worst ways to insult someone in the country. Chinese people will do everything to avoid this. And uh, if you criticize your Chinese colleagues in front of other co-workers, you may embarrass them so much they will leave your company. To build a strong relationship, China always keep your cool and uh, give as much as face as uh, good facial expressions and uh, uh, your co-workers and clients through praise and uh, compliments. This is the important things. Fair point is here which I want to mention and especially the when you are going to work with the Chinese people then here the Chinese people the result is everything you know they people are just focusing on result the process is far less important uh, in my previous experience where I just uh, work as, with the Chinese people there are a lot of lecturers those who are working on this uh, intercultural profession also so here I would like to say that every day uh, what people are talking about, about the general managers and the Chinese management teams, when the sales figures were a bit low, when you are especially talking about the management, when it just get low, and uh, race general manager wanted to know what the cell director was doing to improve the situations, but he didn't want to explain every step like a Western uh, sales director would. The sales director become frustrated and said words to the effect of, we are doing our best. Remember one of Deng Xiaoping famous saying, it doesn't matter it's a bad cat or white cat as long as it catches mice. Basically meaning the process doesn't matter how long you get the result Western supervisors should bear this in mind when managing the Chinese employee. And the sixth point here I would like to mention that is uh, it's, it's very interesting if we are talking about that is promote an open culture to ensure your Chinese colleagues speak up in meetings. In the West, we often see the early bird catches uh, the worm. But some Chinese joke, the early bird catches the worm, but the early worm can be eaten by the birds. And therefore, due to the fear of losing face and also keeping the uh, high xi harmony in a group and, you know, it's a respect hierarchy, basically, uh, whatever the big boss thinks, which, uh, which means some Chinese people will not speak up to voice the opinions in meetings. And uh, if you are a manager in a foreign company and your Chinese staff are not used to working in a Western way, it's important to coach them and emphasize the benefits of the speaking up and the sharing their ideas. When they share ideas, good or bad, encourage and reward them. This will facilitate clear and open communications in your company and help new ideas and innovations to flourish. My dear friends, uh, here uh, it is very important that uh, if you have any difficulties or uh, if you are unable to understand the thing what I have just spoken about, then uh, interestingly uh, you may post any comments on me that is uh, on uh, idealjnp at the rate of gmail.com you can just uh, post any queries I'll just give you more answers so if you would like to go to China don't worry here in ideal we support you and gives you way that uh, through that I'm sure about that you will be able to just uh, take a better place and you know when you understand the people then you can perform a lot better. So with next video, we will come to the experience of uh, other nations. I hope you are getting me all the six tips what I have given you. So, my dear friends, here I want to say that the ideal GLA always tend to do something new for the sake of the betterment of the people of whole world. So, I hope that the coming days we will give you some special packages by that you will be able to get a lot fascinated, motivated towards your life. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.